We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 5, Inspecting a Document. Now, I have something happening with my system that will not turn part of the screen, but my students have not had this problem, so I'm hoping you won't either. Um, so this whole activity is about inspecting a doc document to identify any challenges there might be in sharing your document with an older or a different version of Word. So everything we're going to do is on the File tab. So I'm going to go to File, and then we want to go to the Info section. So I'm going to click on Info. In here, there is a Check for Issues button. So it says Inspect Document, and it gives you some uh, a little bit of information here. So we're going to do three things. So if I click on Check for Issues, you can see I have three different options. And so we're going to go through each one of these. The first is to inspect the document for hidden properties or personal information. So I'm going to click that. I should get a pop-up that says, uh, make sure you save your current changes. I haven't done anything to my document, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to click No. I'm going to get a document inspector that comes up, and it shows you a bunch of different items that it's going to check. And you can customize this if you wanted to, but for the purposes of this activity, don't worry about it. Just use what's defaulted there. And then click on the inspect button. So it's going to run through and it's going to identify uh, where there's um, document properties or personal information. And we can remove that by clicking the remove all button. And I'm going to do that for every option that it gives me. So I had three total. And then I'm going to click on Reinspect. It shouldn't come back with anything, so we should be good to go. We can close that. And that's step one. I'm going to mark that as answered and go to step two. Now, this is the one that I keep having an issue with. I can't seem to get it to turn green, even though I know I'm doing it correctly, because I've done this with my students, and they are able to do the same thing and get theirs to turn green. So for whatever reason, you know, hopefully for you it works. I'm going to go to check for issues again and check accessibility. And this is going to identify things that might be difficult for someone with uh, disabilities to read or understand. So when we've clicked that, it's going to take us back to our document. It's going to open up this accessibility pane. Now, right now, I see where it says errors and it gives me a little carrot that I can open. Um, hopefully you see some additional information and then it gives you uh, a web link. So sometimes when I do this one, it shows up with just this and sometimes it gives me the web link as well. So I'm actually going to close out. I'm going to try it one more time and see if it does it for me. No, nope, it's still just showing this. But what I want you to do is click on the first um, hyperlink that you can see in this section. And for me, I'm just clicking through the ones that are showing here. And then when you're finished just clicking on that, you can hit the X and mark as answered and go to step three. And again, cross fingers that that one works for you. Um, again, my students didn't have any problems, but for some reason, I just cannot get it to turn green for me. Um, so we're going to check for compatibility issues. I'm going to go back to the file tab, back to info, and then I'm going to go to inspect document, check for issues, and do the check compatibility. So this checks for features not supported by earlier versions of Word. All right, so it's going to open up this dialog box for me. And you can just see what items um, that will be changed to make the document compatible with another version. And you can click OK. Then mark as answered and submit. 